Rudy Giuliani is now reportedly panicking and his priority is to die a free man, to die a free man. That doesn't sound like things are going particularly well. Rudy Giuliani is now being forced to appear before a Georgia grand jury investigating the Trump and associates attempts to overturn the results in November of 2020 results in which Joe Biden won Georgia. Let me say that in a very clear way. Joe Biden won Georgia. So Joe Biden should have gotten and did get the electoral votes from Georgia. However, Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani and Jenna Ellis and a whole bunch of different people, Lindsey Graham, were to different degrees and in different ways lobbying for Trump to get those electoral votes. That would have been wrong. Rudy Giuliani now has to uh, appear before a grand jury. He tried uh, having his lawyers say he can't travel. Rudy travels all the time. Didn't make any sense. Judge didn't buy it. Um, He is arguably going to try to say that everything he did was as the lawyer for Trump and therefore it's protected by attorney client privilege. But it doesn't seem like it's necessarily going to work. But we now are being told that Rudy is concerned that he may not die a free man. That is very, very serious. Like, Ken, I want to start with you sure. as someone who worked for Rudy Giuliani. John did also, but you were Rudy Giuliani's press secretary, the target now of this investigation. Mm-hmm. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. And he's trying to create a smoke screen and delay as long as possible. <laughs> Listen, Rudy flew too close to the sun. He got too mm. close to Trump. He got burned. Um, he knows how Dio. He flew too close to the sun on the wings of MAGA Trumpism, and you can't do that and avoid getting burned forever. Jay works. He knows how the FBI works. He knows these are meticulous investigations. I, I know this is not a popular position with the media, but I think we should take a wait and see um, uh, that the affidavit shouldn't be released. I'm doubling back to the earlier conversation. Um, I know he's I know he's nervous. Uh, he could have flown. Uh, to Georgia. Uh, You know, he flies all over the world. Yep. So that's just a typical uh, tactic to try to postpone the inevitable. Why do you think he's nervous about this Georgia investigation? Because he he knows the truth. He knows he lied to legislators. He knows that he concocted this false elector scheme. Um, You know, he knows he lied for his client and he knows we all know it's it's clear. What's his next move? Add delay, delay, delay. Kick the can down the road. I think you know, at this point in his life, his goal is to die a free man. Can you imagine? Look at how quickly Rudy, who was Mayor 9-11, beloved by everybody, even many Democrats. And all of a sudden it's, am I going to die in prison or am I going to die a free man? Pretty stark, John. That is stark. And look, it, it highlights, I think, the tragedy uh, of his trajectory. Um, but it's a self-inflicted tragedy. You know, the the deal is that Rudy was, as Ken knows, really one of the most respected legal minds of his generation. I remember him telling me many times that, you know, the law is about a search for the truth. And that is not what he is 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 pursuing right now. He's trying to evade the truth um, because he's afraid of of what will will come up. Now, he is saying, look, I was acting in the capacity as lawyer and whether ex-president ultimately throws him under the bus is yet to be seen. But I will also say that Rudy Giuliani is someone who said many times on tape from the Blue Room at City Hall that, you know, you respect the sanctity of a grand jury. They know more than we do. And so to push back against that as aggressively as he has and to throw around terms like fascist state uh, is is beneath the man he was and the credibility he once had. To be clear, Bernarda, about the luck he's going to have pursuing this, yes, delay, but success probably not. I mean, the judge has said, Fake electors, you have to comply. Yep. Congressman Jody Heiss, you have to comply. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Senator Graham, you have to show up. Exactly. So with Rudy Giuliani, you can run, but you can't hide. Your time is up. You have now graduated to being a target. And now it's your time to appear before this grand jury. He can plead the fifth, yes. He can decide, oh, attorney client privilege, but then you have the crime fraud exception. But there's so much that can go on. So bottom line here. It's sort of a sad tale about Rudy Giuliani in a sense. I mean, on a personal level, it is sad. You've got a guy who's, uh, I think, 76, 77 years old, something like that. Um, He did have, even though he was not my political preference, he did have a good career prosecuting the mafia, followed by being mayor of 9-11 and after nine, uh, the the mayor of 9-11, the mayor of New York City during 9-11, the mayor of 9-11 sounds really bad, the mayor of New York City during 9-11 widely seen, as was George W. Bush, as participating in sort of bringing the nation together and handling it well. 
And then it started to get a little weird where Rudy would not stop talking about 9-11, no matter what the question was for years after he was mayor. And then he attached his uh, wagon to Trump's horse. And that is a hell of a horse to attach your wagon to. And it is self-inflicted. So it can be both sad and also correct that Rudy now has to deal with this. He did things that he knew were, were, were the wrong things to do in terms of telling lies, et cetera. And he's going to have to face the consequences. These clips are all on our Instagram, which you can find by searching Instagram for David Pakman show. As many of you know, I'm a busy person. I don't always have the exact correct nutritional plan for my meals every single day. And that's why I also take a multivitamin and a couple of supplements. But doing them all separately can be a little bit time consuming, which is why Athletic Greens is just fantastic. And they're one of our sponsors. I've been using the Athletic Greens since last year. It just really simplifies nutrition. I just do a scoop of the AG1 and I'm getting 75 high quality vitamins and minerals and my probiotics. And it's all from whole food sources. I drink it in the morning. I know I'm good. I don't have to be messing around with different pills and supplements or whatever. Or spend time planning it when what time of day do I need to take each one? I just get it all with one scoop. You can put it in a smoothie. You can drink it straight. It tastes great. And then I'm just good for the day. It supports gut health and I'm getting everything that I need and I'm looking for. Athletic Greens is giving my audience a free one year supply of vitamin D plus five free travel packs when you go to athleticgreens.com slash Pacman and the link is down below.